Hello to all my lively ladies, you're very welcome back. My name is Trish and you're very welcome to my YouTube channel. So today we are going to do our low impact sweaty cardio workout to help burn body fat. Now I'm getting going here with my warm up. So if you want to join me when you're ready, just make sure you have everything that you may need for this workout, like a towel, some water. And I'm actually gonna do some uh, slow mountain climbers here today or low impact mountain climbers and I'm going to use a chair for that. You can do it on a low piece of furniture like a coffee table or you could even do it on an exercise step if you have one but uh, it gets harder the lower you go down and obviously down on the floor will be the most advanced version which you're more than welcome to do if you want to but um, I'm just going to do it up on the chair today so if you want to grab a chair now and um, do that okay and join in when you join me when you're ready. All right, so we're just uh, tapping the foot out to the side here, bending the knee slightly just to take pressure off the knee joint. And I'm just doing some bicep curls. Okay, so I hope you're feeling good today. The weather here is not great. It's really rainy. It was beautiful, lovely spring weather, but it's turned really wintry again. Um, and uh, a lot of rain in the last couple of days. So I'm getting lots of workouts done indoors. Good, now let's leave out the arms. Count you out of the legs and we move on to the next move. Four, three, let's do some leg curls. Two and one. Okay, so curl the leg. So again, we're just getting the heel up towards the bottom. I've introduced some arms. You can leave them out, rest them on your hips if you like, your hands. And you can see here, I'm just kind of rotating my palms facing down, facing up. And that's great for just hitting those little muscles in around the shoulder area. Okay. And your back. You'll feel your back working here. This is a good one to do with a light pair of weights as well. That's it. Good. And of course we're getting those hamstrings there at the back as we kick, kick our bums. That's it. Good work. Now keep breathing for me. Get your breathing rate up. That's it. Good work. Now let's rest the hands on the hips. Now we might be able to bring up a little bit of speed or tempo into this move here. Good. That's it. Well done. We're going to do some squats next. So just give me another 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Now into a little squat. So little, sit into your little seat. Pull your arms back. That's it. Squat and up squat and up good work okay so we've no timer today we're just going to move from one move into the next with any of the moves if you get confused you can just bring it back to a basic march or if you're just feeling a little bit fatigued rather than stopping altogether you can have a little sip of water if you have it handy but try and keep your body moving unless you're feeling dizzy of course sit down see how you feel after a few minutes but if you're just feeling a little bit fatigued, uh, just uh, maybe pace the room, keep your heart rate up, and uh, come back in when you're ready. Good. Now, two more. Now, I want you to take it just into a little marching move. You can bring in some shoulders and triceps there while you're walking there, or stepping side to side, or marching, sorry. Now, we're gonna start off with our heel taps. So it's one, two, three and four and then into a step touch keep marching there two three and four okay so four and four if you can't touch your heel touch your shin touch your knee or touch your thigh it's all good okay right let's press clock there we go about 20 minutes this workout today and um have fun enjoy yourself and let's get going now four heel taps four uh, step touch okay four three two and one so one two three and step touch it good one two three and four and one two three and four now step touch one two three and four and one two three four and again one two three four good one two three and four and step touch it come on one two three and four keep going come on a couple more that's it good now step touch it one two three four now one more one two 
three, four. Now we are going to do a leg curl. We just did one there in the warm up. All right, let's get going with our leg curl. Now, curl it. That's it. Now bring in some arms. You can rotate your palms like we did there, just up to the ceiling. Hit those back muscles at a different angle. Good work. Come on, that's it. Reach up. Kick your bum. And slight bend in that supporting leg. Good. You'll feel that leg working now. Big deep breaths for me. 10 more. We're going to take this into a squat and then into a travel squat, okay? That's good. Four, three, two, and one. Now legs wide. Squat it down. Close the legs. Open. Sit down. Close. Open. Sit. You feeling those legs working? Your heart rate's up. Big deep breaths. That's it, we're getting the sweat flowing right from the start here. Sit down, getting that cardio in for today. And over, chest upright now for me. Okay, don't dip your chest forward. Press all the weight into your feet, particularly your heels. And the knees track out over your shoelaces. That's it, good. Now I've got a leg curl on the other side to do, okay? Two more here. Last one. Okay, now other leg, come on, curl it, that's it. Rotate those palms, come on, hit those back muscles at a different angle, that's it, good. Come on, curl, curl, good. We've got some jumpy knee raises coming next. You don't, now I won't be jumping, I just called them that because you're kind of going up, bouncing up and down to the ceiling using your elasticity of your muscles. But you can keep it really low, I'll show you now in a second. Good. Come on, that's it. Kick, 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 and kick. 10, nine, eight, get ready for knee raises. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Now, knee raise, good. Just start off with a nice basic knee raise. Let's work your hip flexors there at the front of the body. Now you can add a little jump, jump, jump. I'm actually, my foot is in contact with the floor, so it's still low impact, but I'm just bouncing up and down, lifting my head up to the ceiling. If that's too challenging for you, stay here. Good. Good work, come on. Really uh, get those arms involved. Now, if you want to go a little, little bit more dynamic with it, and up, up 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 good reach and that get that head up to the ceiling good 10 more now you've got a squat and pendulum next so just a regular squat reaching the leg out both sides like a pendulum on a clock four three two and one now into your squat squat and pendulum now other leg now i'm leaning a little bit to the side that's it, good. Down to the side. Now we've got those wide or slow mountain climbers or low impact mountain climbers coming next. So what will you use? Are you gonna go on a chair? Use a chair or a step even, coffee table? Just make sure whatever you use, it doesn't move on you, okay? Make sure it's sturdy and reach. Down and out. Down and out. Good, chest is high. That's it, all the while squatting and with these side leg moves, side leg raises. That's it, good. Two more and last one. Okay, now let's grab that chair. I'm pushing mine up against something so it doesn't move on me. Step back a little bit and start climbing come on climb that mountain for me this is a great one for opening up your hips there great hip mobility that's it good and you can slow it right down if you want to or you can speed it up you can speed it up like you can um, add like a little hop if you want to make it a little bit more challenging but watch the chair doesn't move on you or you can keep it low impact. Ooh, I got the heart rate up. A few reps. 
come on this is great it's really opening up those hips and keeping the joints healthy good 10 seconds to go come on you can do that let me tell you what's next oh yeah we're going to just step and reach very basic move good five seconds come on three two and time okay Whew. come on up slowly step and reach so step out to the side and reach good work come on nice big arm moves for me belly buttons in tight getting a nice stretch there for your trunk now if that's too much for you of course bring your arms down front good that's it just work within your own limits reach and reach reach and reach Ooh. that's it come on a few more reps we're going to step touch travel forward and back now leave out the arms keep those legs going get ready now we're going to step touch it that's where you're going to bring your leg your toe in to meet your opposite toe okay and then we travel forward and back four three two and one now let's step touch it that's it come on and then you can move off the spot and have some fun that's it keep going come on we're nearly halfway through this workout already we're heading up to eight minutes good and travel and travel good now i want you to know guys that if this workout is titled sweaty cardio uh, yes it does live up to it sweaty i'm sweating already but to help burn fat now this is just part of the puzzle okay so important that you eat properly and really and truly you need to get into the kitchens cook your own food one ingredient foods kind of get that down first and um you know help your body balance your hormones before you even think of using exercise as a, a method or a tool to help you lose weight and then the exercise will help to actually put muscle on your frame and the more muscle you have the more calories you'll burn throughout the day okay and even at sleep but also keeps your your muscles sensitive to insulin okay so it is just a tool you will see these titles on youtube but make sure you that you you are doing your bit as well okay with your nutrition and keeping consistent with your workouts okay now let's do four more three two now take it into a small march we're going to zigzag for three and back okay four three two and one so we're going to walk back sorry walk back okay march it back that's one and one two and three and all the way back good one two and three and you can make this zigzag as big or as small as you like all right all the way back good your flexibility in your inner thigh should be really good now after those uh, mountain climbers on the chair <laughs> good all the way back that's it we've got our stepping stars next that's that um nice uh, full body move coming next good let's do two more of these that's it good and one two and three and all the way back now let's get into stepping stars so we're going to get into a little squat step out and reach other leg reach that's it good reach up we've reached 10 minutes oops i missed my leg there that's good and reach and reach good work reach up and reach good feeling a nice stretch again in your trunk that's it again if this is too much for your shoulders just out here will do okay now if you want to you can take up the pace a little bit again depends on your fitness level are you fatigued today are you feeling a little bit sluggish got a lot of factors to take into consideration good four to go and we're going to shovel the dirt next three two get into a squat for me now shovel the dirt over your shoulder i know it's a funny name but it really gets the exercise into your head now when you're squatting i don't want you to look down at the ground i want you to look forward 
What are your knees doing? Are they going out? Yes, that's good. That's what we want. Good work. That's it. Ooh, heart rate is high. These big legs, uh, leg moves are getting that heart rate up. Four. Back to your heel tap for four. Squat press. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Step touch for four. Do you remember the very first move? That's it. Okay. Now tap it out. One, two, three, and step touch for four. One, two, three, and four, and one, two, three, and four, and one, two, three, and four, and one, two, three, four, and again. Step touch. Come on, have fun with it. Three, and four. Good. One, two, three, and four, and one, two, three, four, come on, two more, one, two, three, four, step, touch it out, one, two, three, last one, and we're into our leg curls after this, okay, single leg curl, one, two, three, four, now let's curl the leg up, that's it, rotate those palms, good, face them up to the ceiling, Feel those back muscles working hard. Come on, pull back. Kick your rear. That's it, get those hamstrings alive. Little bend forward at the waist, but not too deeply. That's it, keep your spine upright. Good. 10, nine, travel squats. Seven, six, five, get ready for those squats. Three, two, one. Oh my goodness, that leg, that supporting leg is on fire. Good work. Squat it over. That's it. Close the legs, open. Sit down, close the legs, open. Sit down. Come on, keep moving with this one. Sit down. Now remember, we've got that other leg to do. Okay, don't forget the other side. With the leg curls, that is. Then your jumpy knee raises. Good. Or regular knee raises. That's it. Good work. Come on. You can do this. Good. Two more. We'll make our way back to the center. Last one. Now, get this other leg going. Okay, you ready? Go. That's it. Again, turn those palms up to the ceiling. Pull back, come on. Work those back muscles between your shoulder blades. Good, come on. You can do it. Keep going. Abs are in tight, chest is high. Good, come on. Let's get ready for those knee raises. Coming up now, 10 seconds. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, knee raise. Muscles are on fire. Good. Now, do you want to go a little, a little jump at the knee raise? Or you could just leave it out and add some shoulder press. That's another way now to bring up the intensity of the move. Good work. Whichever you like. Add that little hop there with the foot. Good work. Come on, reach up, pull down. Reach up, pull down. We've got squat and pendulum, boat legs next. Let's leave out those arms now. Good. Ten more. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Now let's squat it out. And pendulum. Use a chair if you have to. Pendulum. Good. Sit down and out. Wide or slow mountain climbers or low impact mountain climbers. They have so many names. I don't know what to be calling them. Good. Sit down. Squeeze down. Now squeeze that gluteus medius and minimus for me there. Good. Sit down. Squeeze. Sit. Squeeze. Good. Now you don't have to go down too deep. Here's fine. Here's fine with the leg. Okay. Choose what level you're working at. Okay. Just work within your own level. Don't exhaust yourself because it's good to be able to come back and exercise even later in the day for another 20 minutes or it the next day, definitely. Good. Two to go. 
and this is it here now over we go to the chair let's go with this one okay step back a good bit good stretch in the leg and let's go into these mountain climbers good work I even see these being called Everest climbers. So there's so many names, they come up with these new names all the time. Good, now pull your belly button in. That's it, good. Tummy muscles are nice and tight, they're protecting your lower back. You really feel the bottom muscles working. Your inner thighs, quads. Good, come on, keep going, you can do this. Let's do 10, nine, We've got step and reach left or next I should say four three two and one now let's go into our step and reach okay so step and reach good tummy muscles are in down here if up over the head is too much for you good work step touch traveling forward and back after this one good work come on reach and reach reach and reach good come on you can do it abs in nice and tight 10 9 get ready for step touch 7 6 5 4 3 2 and 1 now step touch it that's it well done good transition there now travel forward and back that's it good so what do you find more challenging do you find keep sticking to a good eating plan more challenging or is it the exercise or is it both <laughs> I think from a lot of people it's the eating is the more challenging bit because you you really have to be so consistent with that cooking your own meals knowing what ingredients are going into your own food and that I think is very challenging because you have to go to the shops buy those ingredients come home cook them you know and uh, come up with different ideas to keep it interesting for yourself and then of course it's just a minefield to know what to be eating so that can put some people off okay now what are we on next let's do four more zigzags three two and one get ready for your zigzags so one two and three march it back good one two and three let's take it back good work and again one two and three and march it back good one two and three this is a nice fun move good nice full body fun move nice dancey move gets that uh, good feeling good hormone good feeling of hormones inside you endorphin rush it good let's do two more all the way back and make your way back and let's do our stepping stars okay sit down and reach we're into our last minute now last couple of moves wow time goes so fast particularly these uh, min uh, workouts under 30 minutes good reach out come on get that heart rate up that's it reach and reach four to go come on I want to get some of those shovel the dirts in three two and one we'll just get a few of these in open the legs come on over the shoulder that's it sit your hips down keep your back straight good abs in tight oh we've reached 20 minutes come on a few seconds left come on we can do it give me 10 more nine eight seven six five just there now four three two last one okay give yourselves a big clap we just went a little over time for 20 seconds or so good work well done Whew. now let's cool ourselves down so just back to what I was saying there, I just wanted to keep the flow of the workout going for you though as well. But it's important that we talk about nutrition, that if you're having issues with sticking to a healthy eating plan, just take it back to the basics. Don't make it complicated. Try not to read too much about what diet works, this diet, that diet. Diets don't work. 
they always fail and they fail on purpose because they want you to try the next thing and then the next thing and it's just um, just to keep you caught up in a loop so to speak so just remember keep to those one ingredient foods make sure most of the food you eat co comes from nature comes from grows in the ground basically and if you're not vegetarian you know meat meat is uh, meat chicken fish eggs things like that and um, nuts and seeds just foods that don't have a long list of ingredients in them are the best choices for you and if you you don't have to even worry about counting calories if you're eating that type of food and then get your exercise in like i say to keep your insulin in check keep it sensitive in your body it's really important and that's the number one way to control your weight is making sure insulin stays balanced inside you and we do that by our food and then combine it with exercise too and good sleep they have done lots of research on sleep and they have found now that good sleep about seven to eight hours a night really helps to balance out our hormones particularly insulin okay now let's cool down let's do a calf stretch so start calf stretch yeah put your foot behind you all right and take a big deep breath in now bring that continue to bring that heart rate down because it might be still elevated for you abs in nice and tight push forward now in space that's it good that's well done feel that tension building and building give it time to ease off good i like to focus rather than rushing through so many stretches and trying to fit in everything i try to focus on a few each time i work out so if you work out twice a day you're going to get a good bit of amount of stretching for your body done too and you can work out twice a day with low impact i mean plenty of people go for if they have a dog they bring the dog out for two walks a day so that's low impact exercise so no harm these exercises are very much designed to be able to be done to at least once but most definitely two times a day that's it good feel that tension wear off it allows you to push forward a little bit more into space good well done always stretch to the point of mild tension never ever force or jerk your muscle into a stretch because you're one of these days you're bound to just pull a muscle and uh, you'll be out of action for a while then we don't want that <laughs> okay good work now what i'm going to do is some ballistic stretches here for the calf so if you find your circulation is poor around your legs from your knee down you should do this on a regular basis get up off the off your chair or whatever you're doing. if you're standing at the kitchen sink washing dishes do some of these you're cooking the dinner okay you find you have a minute or two on your hand uh, on your hand a uh, bit of time in your hands do this okay and then you can do two feet again here you might need a little bit of assistance with balance so just hold the wall up and down squeeze those calves on the way up that's it keep that blood pumping and circulating around all those little body parts right down to your baby toe up and down good up and down up and down well done good work now let's stretch out our hip flexor so one foot behind now what I want you to do is you can see I'm, I'm going to tilt my pelvis back okay it's hard to see in black but um, what I'm doing here is I'm tilting my pelvis back dropping the knee a little bit okay um, I think if you drop your knee and then tilt it back it might be easier for you do you can actually feel that quad muscle and your hip flexor here responding to that little tilt of the pelvis okay so you're lengthening out the muscle good work now this is a hard one to hold you might need to do this against a wall and just hold the wall if you want to you can stretch out your chest here okay if you're caught for time good again i actually really do prefer to stretch individual body parts but if it works for you give it a go okay down drop the knee tilt the pelvis back that's it oh that's a lovely stretch and really feel that there in the front of the body good and you can you can actually rest your hands on your hips and just this is a nice simple stretch open up your chest there well done good work keep going big deep breaths for me 
Now ease up out of it, okay? Come on, you might be feeling a little bit of discomfort. Let's stretch out the waist and the side of our body. Reach that heart arm right over. Pull your belly button in. Put your hand on your tummy there around your belly button area just to remind you to contract. That's it. Give it that little cue there with your fingers. Reach right across. Good work. Other side. Reach across. That's it. Keep breathing. Try not to fall forward here or back. Keep them somewhat in the middle. That's it. Relax your head. Lovely, lovely stretch there for the side. Good work. Let's go to the chair. Now, one final stretch. Again, make sure it's not going to move on you. Now, this is more of a beginner or less advanced stretch than down on the floor. You've seen me do that one down on the floor. You could do this again lower on a coffee table or an exercise step. But here I'm just stretching out my inner thighs. Okay, and again, I'm just a bit more mobility for the hip. This just make sure the back leg is nice and straight. Good. You can twist or sorry, not twist, but bend your ankle a little bit to the side just to get some mobility going on in your foot there. Sorry, I'm out of shot with that there. I can see other side. Here is what I mean with the ankle. If you can see me just bending it to the side. Good. Keep your tummy muscles in there nice and tight. Again, I'm just bringing in some nice uh, static stretching and mobility into the hips, just keeping them wide and open. Good work. Okay, can you get out of it? <laughs> That's the hard bit. Um, reach up, let's bend to the side again. I like stretching out the tummy. Give yourself lots of space here. Abs in now, nice and tight. Oh, it's lovely. Back to the middle and over to the other side. Good. And again, if you want a longer warm up, you want more leg stretching, more hip openers, more upper body work, just check out my link in my description below this video. You'll see um, a link for a cool down, full length cool down, lots of variety there for you. Good to do on a day, maybe if you're feeling stiff or sore, or just to add to your workouts. So that's there, just press the link, you don't have to search for anything and you'll find it. Good work. Okay, thank you very much for joining me today. You did a wonderful, wonderful job. That really and truly was a sweaty workout, but it was great. It just wakes you up, makes you feel alive. Keep hydrated now because like I say, once you sweat, you've got to replace your lost fluids. Okay, I'll see you back here really, really soon. Bye-bye.